Whales, whales, more whales. That tends to be what comes to mind when you think of Depot Bay, Oregon. While watching for those giant animals is really fun, there are some other things to do around the city. During our day trip there, the weather was a little less than nice, which obviously no one would expect in Oregon in spring, but I donned some flannel and jeans and tackled the day. Well, what I could see of the day through what it was doing to my curly hair. Our first stop is the most essential stop. If I died and went to heaven, I'd be very upset if it wasn't here. When you come here, one of the first things you have to do is go to Fuddy Duddy Fudge where you can get enough delicious sweets to flirt with diabetes and flirt with being unable to get back into your car when you're leaving. My parents always took us there when I was little, so the love has been there since youth. If I lived anywhere near there, I would probably weigh at least 400 pounds and be willing to put more on if it meant more fudge. Anyway, we snagged some treats, of which they have a wide variety not limited to fudge, sat on a bench right across the street, and enjoyed this lovely view. There apparently was a whale, according to a lady who passed by, but the only animals we were paying attention to were seagulls. We didn't like the way they were looking at our fuddy-duddy fudge loot, which we were basically unable to stop eating. This area right here is good for some whale watching though. We saw some seals and a bunch of birds too. The city is a very popular place to take a whale watching tour. I have in the past with trade winds. It was fun. There were no whales, but you could get seasick and have more room for fudge afterward. A fair trade-off. This particular day we sat and enjoyed the view and some seal creeping for a while. Then we took off to drive along Otter Crest Loop. If you've been walking around a bunch and just kind of feel like staying in your car to enjoy the scenery, or if it's really rainy and you don't want to get that kind of hair, you can always just take Otter Crest Loop, which is just a little bit south of Depot Bay, and you can just sit in your car and enjoy this. You can get out at one of the overlooks and just eat a sandwich with your feet propped up and see if you can see any whales or any exciting sea creatures. It's a lovely little drive, but it's quite short. Not too far from that is Devil's Punch Bowl State Park. That is fee-free, and you can check out the Cool Rock Formation. If you're feeling a little badly about how much you've eaten on your trip, you can check out these little tub tubs. Keep an eye out for your food, though. They're more apt to steal it when you're not looking than a hungry teenage boy would be. If you want to eat more, though, this is a lovely place to have a lunch. If you want to partake of one of the best road trip pastimes and eat, but you don't want to go to a restaurant or sit down anywhere fancy, you can just pack a picnic lunch and eat it here at Devil's Punch Bowl State Park. I personally could eat some peanut butter and pickle sandwiches here. You can also head down to the beach where people enjoy some surfing, tide pools, and generally freezing cold feet. We waited in the water for a bit because having feeling in your extremities is totally overrated. It's a fun place to walk around and enjoy the power of the ocean. We also checked out some of the tide pools. There was a variety of sea life to watch and we also found some hidden crabs. It brought back lovely memories of my brothers being pinched by them on family trips. If you have kids or if you're just a big kid yourself, the tide pools are really cool. Just try to suppress the urge to poke things with sticks. For dinner, we decided we would have something that wasn't fudge as much as we wished that could be a three-course meal. Fudge, fudge, and more fudge. We went to Tai Bay, which is right near the bridge in Depot Bay, and filled with absolutely delicious food. Each of our plates was about 10 bucks, and we had some egg rolls that cost about half of that. I'm a vegetarian, so I enjoyed the crap out of this tofu curry, despite the fact that it wasn't flaked with fudge. It's probably the best one I've ever had. It was like tofu gasms. This is a very affordable place to eat. I say a plate more than $10 is never necessary, and I would so recommend it. I'm actually thinking of driving the 11 hours or so to get there right now just for another go at it. You guys go there and you eat that food. You eat it real good. So Depot Bay, definitely keep your eye out for some whales, but also enjoy a drive around Otter Crest Loop, Devil's Punch Bowl, Ravenous Squirrel Watching, and some Tide Pool Excitement. Just try not to eat yourself into a fudge coma, as absolutely tempting as it might be. Wait until you get home. Just keep your life alert ready.
Um, it's great having your slurping noises in the background. <laughs> I personally can't come to Depot Bay without getting a ton of food at Fuddy Duddy Fudge because I 